Hey everybody, I'm Rod Clayton with the Paddle Channel and this is my review of the Epic V8 Pro. Now before we get started, we need to go through the standard review disclaimer. Anytime you read or watch a review, you need to keep in mind that a review is nothing but the opinion of the reviewer and it's going to vary based on the experience, the expectations, uh, the the bias of the reviewer. So it's only an opinion. So keep that in mind as you watch our reviews. Uh, your mileage may vary and as always we recommend that if you're thinking about buying a craft it's a great idea to test drive it first. With that in mind let's have a look at the Epic V8 Pro. Actually before we get started you should probably hear disclaimer number two. If you're looking for a review from an elite level surf ski paddler, this is not it. Uh, I've had uh, been in surf ski for maybe a year and a half now, a little over a year, I guess. Got about 700 miles in the surf ski. So not an elite level paddler by any means, but I think probably I am sort of in the, in the target demographic that uh, Epic's trying to hit with the Epic V8 Pro. So hopefully you'll find a little bit of value in this review. Okay, Epic V8 Pro, 19 feet long, about 20 inches wide. Uh, this is the performance layup, so we're looking at 33 pounds or around 15 kilograms. So this is a little bit heavier. This is the heaviest layup they have, but it's also the sturdiest. So that's something to keep in mind if you think you're going to be using this boat in the surf zone and durability is going to be a factor for you. Okay, the model that we're looking at here is the performance layup uh, listed at 33 pounds on the epic website or 15 kilograms if you're not from america uh, it comes with standard carrying handles front and back which i do really like quite a bit especially when getting in and out of surf or carrying the ski across the beach during high winds which is when we really want to paddle these things right when the winds are high moving on down Everything's standard. You got your bungee here, your standard Epic bungee. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe to put your book while you're paddling. Um, if you know what this is for or how you use this, let us know how you use this. I'd be real curious if you leave uh, comments below. Let us know how you use this. You got your plug here, which we have used to drain. Standard adjustable foot plate, which is just um, your standard Epic foot plate. You do have Epic Baylor leash plug which we've used several times water bottle holder which is kind of nice this is this is a really nice feature here is you have the handles um, and i think this is necessary because of the the greater width of the boat but it is a nice feature again especially when getting in and out of the surf got a standard bungee cord back here so it's a mess another leash plug back here rear handle here now the model that we're looking at today is uh, was designed in 2015, manufactured 2016. So keep that in mind as we go through the review. First impressions of the ski. Actually, our first impression was yeah, it's kind of heavy, but you have to keep in mind that again, I'm coming from a OC1 background where you, you've got an 18 pound hull, uh, carbon fiber hull. Um, and it's definitely heavier than my ultra layup uh, of my V10 Sport. And it's definitely heavier than Barry's Elite V10. So everything's relative, but my first impression was kind of heavy. Now, once I got it in the water, first impression in the water was kind of really stable. So very, very stable, especially compared to uh, my V10 Sport. Now, I have read online uh, several comments and forums where people didn't really see a difference between the stability of the V10 Sport and the stability of the V8 Pro. And I would have to say I disagree at least uh, outside of flat water. Once you get this thing into rough water, it is significantly more stable than the V10 Sport. Uh, where the V10 Sport would be rolled by rough water, the V8 Pro seemed to just kind of sit on top of the water. We just kind of bounced up and down. There wasn't much rolling at all. So definitely there is a stability factor here. So I'd say first first impression on the water was stable. I was able to grab Barry uh, one night this week after one of our workouts and ask for his impressions on the V8 Pro as well. Now remember, Barry paddles a custom surf ski um, 
and it is very light, is very fast, very slick on the water. So keep that in mind when you're listening to his comments about the V8 Pro. Okay, first impressions of the V8 Pro. Heavy, stable. Um, I did not have to think about trying to balance at all. I could just focus on my paddle technique. Okay, speed. Let's talk about the speed of the V8 Pro. Actually, we took uh, the V8 Pro, and we have another video coming later, but we took the V8 Pro out and compared it to the V10, kind of looking at our V10 Sport. And kind of, it's not really that much slower on, on flat water. It's not much slower than the V10 Sport. However, both Barry and I felt like we were working harder to keep the speed that you could maintain in the V10 Sport. So it just felt like what you would expect. It felt like there was a little more drag uh, with the V8 Pro. And I think that's normal. It's a, it's a wider, heavier boat. Uh, but again, the speed was there. We just both felt like we had to work harder to keep the speed up. What about speed? Um, You were in the V10 Sport. I had to work to stay with you but it's not slow. You just have to be prepared to get a harder workout in because, um, you know, you asked me, what about speed? It's fast enough, but everything's relative, right? Yeah, you know, not, it was, to me it wasn't really slower, but I just had to work harder to make it go as yes. fast as the V10 Sport. So I felt like my abs had to work harder, which is a good thing. I felt like I had to use my legs, my lats, everything was, I felt like I was lifting weights a little bit, um, but I was able to keep up with you in the V10 Sport. My heart rate was probably higher than it would have been if I were in the V11 or my V10. Um, but that's a fast, I mean the V10, yeah, that's, no, that's like a, comparing apples and horses. Yeah, and that's a flat water boat and it's light and it's fast, but so that's what I'm used to. So for me to get in the V8 Pro, it felt like, holy crap, I've really got to work hard to get this going. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about stability. Stability is where the V8 Pro shines, I think. Now again, keep in mind, I've been paddling a V10 Sport for the past year. So, I, you know, I can't, I can't compare this to say a V7 or a V8. Uh, I'm assuming it's more or less stable than both of those crap. But I can tell you, if you're used to uh, a V10 Sport, this is going to seem super stable. And, you know, I'm really glad I, I remarked, we went for a downwinder, uh, I think two weeks ago, week and a half ago, and the wind was coming from the southwest. For us, south-southwest is best. That's when kind of the swell and the wind lines up the best. If it's coming from the southwest, it doesn't sound like a big difference, but it is. It makes the water... Uh, tricky on the downwind you're always getting this kind of this chop coming over your right or left rear quarter and it just makes for a messy day on the water we went out and it was a it was a pretty messy day out there and at one point very was in his v10 uh it's a pretty tippy boat so like a gen 1 v10 um while he was fighting with that his leash got tangled up in the camera mount got tangled up around the boat, when he got dumped out, got smashed in the chest and faced by a wave on the way out. Uh, so I was kind of sitting out, doing the hardest thing I think there is to do on the surf ski, which is go slow in rough water uh, and sit in rough water. And the V8 Pro was really stable. Just not a lot of stress in what normally would be a stressful water situation, just trying to stay upright. Uh, and so I'm really glad that I did this review, that I'm doing this review after that downwind day, because if I had just done the review after flat water paddling, I think I would be saying it was kind of the, well, my impression would be different. So I think in the, in the rough water, that's where the V8 Pro shines. It caught the bumps. Uh, it was very, very stable on a, on a pretty messy day. I, I never dumped it, which is saying something. I never had to swim. So, uh, you know, I, re I really feel like in the downwind situation, in rough water situation, that's where the V8 Pro really shines. And you can concentrate on paddling and not on staying upright. So really, really good. That's probably the highest marks there are stability, especially in rough water. You mentioned stability before. Anything yep. to add? No, well, stability. Um, 
I'll use my buddy um, who's an athlete. He's a basketball player. He really is keen on learning how to do surf ski. So he met me at a lake with very little wind, no boat traffic at all, and he he doesn't quit. He spent an hour trying to sit in my 2008 V10. An hour. He spent an hour trying to sit in it, and he couldn't do it. Right. I thought to myself, I, he needs a V. He needs the V8. He this is would be perfect. V8 for Pro. Him. The V8 Pro. Work. Yeah. He would be stoked. He would be like, "This is a great sport. I want to do this again. Where can I buy one?" So that that experience trying to get him exposed to the sport made me realize, okay, there is a definite place for this V8 Pro. Okay, let's talk most important downwind ability. Uh, I wouldn't call the V8 Pro, the feel was not, uh, it was not nimble on the waves, but again, it was so stable that it made downwinding, especially on this really rough day that we were out, a lot of fun. And so it's a whole lot faster to be in the boat than it is to be swimming. And Again, I would have a V8 Pro in my stable for sure just for these type of downwind days. If it's a little bit rough, I would want a V8 Pro uh, to use on that rough day. Okay, let's talk about strengths. Uh, in my opinion, the strengths are, are definitely, I would say, durability. Um, Barry calls this, uh, he, his nickname for the V8 Pro is the tank. Um, so I would say in this performance layup, durability is a strength. Um, I think the other strength definitely is what we just talked about. Stability uh, is certainly the strength here. And I would say also, um, you know, again, you're not, you're not losing a lot in terms of speed. It's not going to be as quick as a V10 or, or a V12 and certainly not a V14. It's not going to be as quick as those performance boats. But again, if you're swimming, because you're trying to paddle above your, your current ability, that's a whole lot slower than being in a slightly slower craft. So anything to add about the strengths? What, if you had to summarize the strengths of the V8 Pro. Uh, super stable. Um, it's got a handle on each end so you can get it to and fro from the water. It will allow you to learn the technique because you won't be spending your mental or physical energy trying to balance. I think those are its strengths. Let's talk about weaknesses. Weaknesses, um, the weight probably, and the drag that you feel in um, flat water. Uh, it does feel like there's a bit of extra drag. Again, it's exactly what you would expect. The, the boat is what it's meant to be. So um, again, you know, Barry calls this, his nickname is the tank. And that's because it felt like, you know, to him, especially coming from his Gen 1 V10, um, which is a very, very fast uh, craft, very slick craft in the water. Uh, he called it the tank and it felt like the V8 Pro. He was ready to switch out of it fairly quickly. Uh, so if you're looking for something really slick, really flat water fast, the V8 Pro may not be what you want, but if you're looking for something that's really stable and you want to play in rough water, this may be a good choice for you. Weaknesses? Heavy, um, but that might be the layup, I, I don't know. Yeah, that is the performance layup. To be okay. fair, that's the most durable layup they okay. have. Okay, so durability is a positive, and when you're learning, you're going to smack it around. So, okay. But, yeah, I just think it's, it's it, you know, it, it's only because I'm used to paddling other surf skis is the reason I think it's heavy or slow. Right. It's all about perspective and, yeah. and where our own experience but is. for my buddy who wants to get into it, I think that'd be the perfect surf ski for him. For me, the top three words to describe the V8 Pro would be stable, versatile, and forgiving. Uh, very, very stable, like I've said, just a joy when the ocean gets rough. Uh, versatile, good flat water boat. It has speed. It's not going to be the fastest craft out there, but it wasn't meant to be. Um, it's not, probably not the best downwind boat you'll ever be in but it wasn't meant to be but if you want a boat that does it all if you want a ski that does it all i think the v8 pro does that really well and forgiving um i when i was downwinding that day that was so rough i could make mistakes in the boat and it didn't make me pay the ultimate price of swimming uh, so a very forgiving 
uh, surf ski. Those are my top three words, stable, versatile, and forgiving. What would be your top three words to describe? Um, stable, stable, and stable. <laughs> There's a lot of people who would not stick with this sport if they fell out of the ski five, six, seven, eight times every single time they went to paddle. And that's what's gonna happen if you're in a tippy boat. Talk about that stability just a little bit more. I've gotten two novice uh, paddlers into it. Now, both paddlers are experienced paddlers. One's a, a sub surfer, uh, stand up paddle surfer with a lot of experience. The other is a uh, races, stand up paddle boards. Uh, and we put both of them as paddle to outrigger some OC1 and OC6. We put both of them in the V8 pro and right off the bat they were both very comfortable could handle wake uh, no problem so it, it was a great boat for me to introduce people to surf ski uh, using on flat water and i do want to mention that when jenna did try the v11 uh, that was difficult for her. Um, she uh, fell in and it was cold so we didn't keep trying but um, it was difficult at first and she fell off twice very quickly, put her in the V8 Pro, and she was 100% stable, went out and enjoyed a paddle. So again, might be a good option for introducing people to the surf ski on flat water. Okay, I don't know if you can talk about a surf ski, if you can do a surf ski review unless you talk about uh, remount. And I cannot talk about remount ability, the ease of remount in the V8 Pro because frankly, I haven't fallen out yet. Uh, so it, it's just that stable. I just haven't fallen out yet. I assume it's fairly with the whip. Uh, it's fairly able, uh, fairly easy to remount, but I, I really can't, can't tell you. You'll just have to find out for yourself. Maybe when it's warmer, I'll, I'll jump out of it on purpose just so I can see what it's like. But while the water's still a little bit chilly, you're just going to have to try it yourself. Yeah, you that, know? that skis, well, you, first of all, you're probably not going to fall out to begin with, honestly. Now, did, have you, did you try to remount it No, at all? I, I was, I mean, I tried to rock it back and forth and I couldn't. So you could not fall out of it. Is... I could not fall out of it. Now, I'm sure that it's possible to fall out of it. And I would think that remounting that ski would be like super easy compared to any other surf ski. That because it try. is so yeah. stable. I mean, I mean, I guess Epic's done a good job. You know, would they have a V7, right? Mm -hmm. So that would probably be even more stable. Well, the V8, I think, is even more stable than, than the, the V8, V8 Pro. Pro. Okay. Yeah. So I I would say if you, I think that the V8 Pro is probably what they use most in most schools, surf, surf sea schools, probably for that reason. So I would say that remounting is not going to be a problem. Let's talk comfort, the V8 Pro. Uh, I found the bucket to be a little bit wider than my V10 Sport. Again, it's what you would expect. When I first started paddling it in rough water, I, I did want the bucket to be a little more uh, tight. I felt like I was loose and sliding around a bit, but still very comfortable. I, mean, I think the longest paddle I've done in the V8 Pro is maybe an hour and a half and found the seat very, very comfortable. And once I got used to the wider cockpit, it, it didn't really bother me anymore so comfort i would i would say the comfort is is fine it's as comfortable as any other ski that i've been in uh, i'm just custom to, uh, accustomed to something a little less roomy in the cockpit in the bucket okay final recommendations of the v8 pro again i felt like this ski in rough conditions was an absolute joy to paddle i had a blast paddling it on the rough days it's fun taking it through rough water and not having to worry about falling over and remounting uh, so I, I just uh, I like it I like it a lot okay so who would the V8 Pro be good for that's the question yeah it would be good for anybody who wants to focus on learning how to paddle with good technique and not worry about falling out because if you spend all your energy just trying to stay in the ski, you're not going to be able to learn how to engage your feet and when to set the blade. And so I think, yeah, learning how to paddle. All right. Okay. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, buddy. So I'd love to hear your comments. If you've paddled the V8 Pro, I'd love to hear your comments below. If you have paddled the V8 and the V8 Pro, I'd love to hear your comparisons. Let's get some conversation started with, to compare the V8 Pro to the V8. Uh, eight. 
And also, if you've paddled the V8 Pro and the V10 Sport, I'd love to get your impressions there. And now the V9 is out, which is supposed to kind of fill that sweet spot between the V8 Pro and the V10 Sport. So if you've paddled a V9 and a V8 Pro, leave some comments below. I'd love to hear what your impressions are as you compare those two. So until next time, thanks for tuning in. If you like what we're turning out here, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to click the, the bell notification so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. And thanks again for joining us on the Paddle Channel.